Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Craft of the Titans. So, um, of course yesterday I released that speed build where we were working on the base, and since then I have moved everything over, um, and we'll be over there in a second. It's just, it's all in temporary spots, right? Because where we're actually living right now is going to be our airship docking area, but it's a start, you know, we've got our base started, and that's, that's the main thing. Um, at the moment but anyways today like I said I want to start off by checking out this dungeon so anyways let's head on inside of course this is the one that we came across last episode and kind of poked our head into I found some other dungeons just flying around but um, I figure we'll tackle this one first from what I understand there's different difficulties based on the type of blocks that are in the area and stuff so this will be this will be exciting. Man, this thing goes down so far. It really does. Okay. And I figure if we just take our time, break the spawners as we go, ugh, then it shouldn't be too bad. Oh. Oh, that's on top of the... Okay, never mind. I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this goes like all the way down to like bedrock nearly I hear something apparently they do not want to mess about either like they are here specifically to kill me no no Ugh. So many fire elementals. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, one over there is just like, I'm going to stay in this corner. Oh, man. Ah! Stop it! I'm trying to get a little bit of this area. Oh my gosh, I hate spoiling so much. rat just stole my stuff my pick oh god I hate rats so much okay I've got to find my my pickaxe is gone oh my god Ah! Oh, where are they coming from? Okay, what do we got here? Turds and Chico Rolls. And that seems to be everything in this area. I should have brought some stones with me to... Oh, actually, I've got this compressed cobble. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to block off these areas. You know, once we've cleared, once we've cleared an area and there's nothing else to get here, I'm just going to block it off. So at least mobs that spawn within this area. Oh my gosh, the stupid rats. I have no pickaxe. You. Look, you stole a piece of cobblestone. Azog. I will say this right here is pretty stout. Oh my god. Die, all of you. Okay. Gotta get out of that for just a second. Thank you. Gotta get my health up here. Oh. This isn't ideal. I need my other, my other sword back and my pickaxe back and everything that's being stolen back. Okay. I don't 
don't think that's going to stop them from spawning. I need my pickaxe. It's a hogging. Alright, let's light all this up. No! No! Oh! God! There's just stuff everywhere! No! Ugh. Give me a minute. Oh wait, I don't have a pickaxe though. Seriously? Seriously? Is this is this real? Look at all that lapis I could be mining if they would just give me my pickaxe back. Uh, what do we... General Tso's chicken, maple candy, bacon, fire immunity paper. Okay, let me throw some of this stuff into here. And his sword was never seen or heard from again. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. Surely my sword's floating around here somewhere, my pickaxe. I hate those rats. I think those are like... Ugh! Stop it! Those rats are probably the most annoying thing within the pack. You know, there's a... There's actually a thing that comes with, uh... Oh my god. Stop it! I just want my weapons back. If I'm being perfectly honest here... I would love them back. In fact, um, I can't get in there because that thing, and I don't have my uh, my thing to get in that thing. Joy oh, zombie. Okay, let me uh, get this back up. Come on. Terrible. I don't know where those rats took off to. God, these zombies have a lot of health, too. Okay. Diamond spikes. Looks like an invisible, invisible wall right there. Uh, poison traps and more diamond spikes. Good God. What have I found? Da! I need to go this way. Alright. Earth Elemental. Oh my God. Da! And there's, I'm stuck on something right now. Oh God. They're just tossing me around. There's just so many of the little guys. Okay. 
just day boss for days up in here. And this zombie with all the health. Okay, I am going to get out of here for a minute. In fact, uh, God, okay. I still haven't found my pick or sword. Okay, um, as I was leaving, I literally right after I hit to stop record, I found a rat that had my sword. So we do have that Onyx Long Sword back. Um, I did go back and repair. My pickaxe is still MIA. So um, we're just going to have to try without that. I did grab a couple things. What? 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 What is this? Okay. Well, they, they shot my ship down. My airship. I didn't realize that they could do that. But apparently they can. Okay. Creepers are coming. Creepers is coming. Okay. Anyways. I'm gonna kind of... Oh my gosh. Looks like they've been destroying stuff while I was while I was gone. Okay. So, anyways, I did get the Pac-Man pet out. Um, oh, nine tails. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and throw this stuff into here I should have dumped that out actually but I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay um, so anyways let's head on back down into the bowels because we, we barely even got started exploring this I've got an iron pickaxe here with fortune 3 efficiency 4 and life steal 3 <laughs> that's just something that I had gotten I don't know where I'd gotten it but uh, it was sitting in the the chest there so I was like okay I'll take this maybe we'll find our lapis pick but the fact that rats got out and just kind of took off kind of worries me. Honestly, man, this blindness, okay? This blindness is a thing. Alright. I'm just going to carry cobble unless I'm in combat. Man, this blindness sucks. I wish it would go away. Okay. This is the main reason I need a pick. Oh, we got common runes. Three of them. Okay. I'm going to put that there so I know that that chest has been looted. We've got a pig pet. We'll look at all this stuff later. For right now. Okay, can I break this? Yes. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Oh man, flesh king. There we go. We'll go ahead and use the Pac-Man pet. Once we have a lot of cookies, it won't be an issue to run the Pac-Man pet a lot. But right now I'm trying to be kind of cautious on my cookies. You die. You die. And let's get these things out. I will say being able to get rid of those spawners is going to really change things. Arcane Essence, okay. Losing my pickaxe like right out the gate, that was very, very bad luck. <laughs> so, uh, I'm hoping this goes just a bit better now. I think I'm just going to try to try to clean up some of these spawners through here. Die. Ah. Right. What do we got here? Okay, Let's see what I can dump off. Another pig pet. I will take it. Oh, 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 all kinds of things here. What is that enchanted book? Flame and Thorns 2 and Soulbound on a flame book. Or enchanted book. 
Enderium seeds, brewing stand pet. No, you don't. Okay. Yeah, my inventory's like already shot. What's hitting me? What is hitting me? I tell you what, I am going to dump off like these glowstone swords. I really don't need those. They don't, uh, ooh, diamond, A-I-O-T, pufferfish pet. Those pig pets, if I recall, they can eat poison food. Um, I think that's the one that can eat it, and you can actually use, um, or allows you to eat rotten food. Like rotten flesh and stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My inventory. It's so bad. <laughs> we are getting stuff, though, this time, which is great. Uh, magnet ring. Ooh. The who? Can I equip that? Yes, I can. Okay. I mean, it's really not that bad right now. I mean, I can kind of just kind of clear my way through here. And there's not a whole lot of... A whole lot of problems going through here right now. Um, I am going to put this bag here. And we'll start filling that one up as well. Haste upgrade, poison traps, the reinforcement bar, squid pet. Yes, pet beginner. Awesome. Oh, I wish I had space for all these things, but I don't. I'll tell you what, I've got the Pac-Man pet out so I can put up my food. He'll eat for me, so. Uh, rubber, hopper, turds. i tell you what, I'm going to get all this lapis. I almost forgot about all this stuff. All these lapis blocks, because i still got fortune. Well, looting. Looting is what I don't have completely done on my swords. I need to make a pick, I guess. I'll probably, honestly, since I lost my one pick, I'll probably use um, a Tinker's Construct pick next. Okay, what can I dump into this? I don't want these, these glowstone swords. I do not want them. Supremium Essence, Glass Chest, Book of Spells... What do we got here? Another ring of speed, a heart crystal, heart of giganite. Fuel for 62,000 seconds. Okay. Oh, a spider pet. Put all that stuff back in there. There we go. Right. Where's my... There we go. I like that uh, rapier for those guys. Like, it's very, very good. Go. You die. Oh. So many mob. Oh, it's all these guys. There's spawners back here. These have got to go. Fire in the hole. <laughs> I love those holy hand grenades. Oh my gosh, I have super bad slowness right now. There we go. There we go. And let me just kind of build a wall here. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we are done with that section. Oh my gosh, all these guys. Right in the hall! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's minotaurs. Clear them out. Okay. Ma. There we go. There we go. Oh god, it's just mobs all over the place here.
I almost wonder if it wouldn't be better to just full clear this place. And then... You know, once you full clear it, then loot everything. I don't know. And for some reason, my dog is freaking out right now. And, like, he's down at my feet, like, pushing him. Okay, can I, uh... For some reason, these spawners quit, keep coming back. Like a big lag spike or something right here. There we go. Wither pet. Life still 25% immune to wither effect. What? Okay. Let me dump all these items into this chest. Spider seeds. Okay, I do definitely want to take the wither pet with me. Um. And my armor's still okay for right now. Um, I'm just going to leave this stuff here, and then, you know, I'll come back or whatever. Yeah, you guys die. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like, for some reason, this is, like, super lagging. Okay, we got a bed pet here. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to fill this chest up with everything that's dropped. And there's another bed pet. Oh, okay, that was the one. Okay, There we go. We got a building wand there, too. Oh, my gosh, I got slowness. Come on. It's still lagging a bit. I don't know why. It's like just super lag all of a sudden. Okay. Stone coal. We'll throw all this stuff in there. Sounds good to me. Alright. What do we got here? A mushroom pet. Has a bone mill effect and fills empty bowls with mushroom stew. I definitely want that. And that heart crystal. I definitely want that. Okay, I don't want... Ah, stop it. i tell you what, though. The horde isn't here. You know, we had that, like, extreme mob horde going there for a bit. And now that's at least seems to be past. You know. I got more common runes here. There is a lot of those. And more there. Gas Pet. Shoots a fireball with a right click. Okay. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. At least you didn't destroy my chest. And we got the Pet Researcher. Alright. Grab that. Okay. Man, this place is pretty big, I have to say. Um, heart crystals. Okay, I should be able to throw that into there. There we go. Uh, plant acceleration upgrade. We'll take it. We've got electrum seeds. I'll definitely take those. Tell you what, I'm going to get rid of that cash. I don't really need it. Of course, those things aren't nearly as good as drawers. Um, as far as, you know, I mean, they can hold a lot of items, yes, but they can't plug into, like, a drawer network, which is a lot of the best, you know, the best thing about. Um, there's another gas pet. I don't know if there's any reason to get more than one, really, but I'm going to leave it in the chest. You know, I'll probably come back and get it at some point. Okay. We got a lot of spawners from this. All different kinds of mobs. And I noticed there's not like a ton of rats this time. Which has made a huge difference. Ooh, we got a drop of evil. I definitely want that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hear a rat though. Honestly, I bet you what's lagging is the magnet ring. 
What do we got here? A purplicious cow pet. Health regeneration fills empty buckets with lava. We've got a Mickerson, resistance and secret of life. Favorite food, diamond nugget. A loot pet, bonus drops from mobs and mining. Uh, redstone paste. We've got bronze seeds, pig seeds, aluminum seeds. A snow golem pet that has knockback and gives you snowballs. Prudentium skeleton seeds. Anvil pet, slowly auto repairs damaged items in inventory. It can spawn a living anvil for two minutes. I definitely want that one. Instantaneous magma ring. Uh huh. You. I saw you. You're not coming in here with me. Because he's going to end up stealing my golden chest or something. <laughs> I don't want that. Okay, let me dump all these, like, items into here. I stole my pick right there, but I got it right back. It's like they're spawning, I don't know from where. <laughs> they're spawning from somewhere, though. Okay, so I definitely want the anvil pet. Um... All of these items I can dump. Yeah, see those rats just want to spawn like right next to me. Uh, oh, manual and helmet. I do want that. Because that, that's actually going to save me. Because that is... That's expensive. Actually. Yeah, that's a lot of manual. And we did get some guardian pieces though too. What is with these rats spawning here? Why do you steal my bags? Ugh. Okay, instantaneous magnet ring. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on. I don't know what it is with this area right here. <clears throat> but rats are bound and determined that they are going to keep spawning and keep trying to steal my things. Okay, I think I got everything out of there that I want right this second. Like I said, I mean, we can come back for the rest of this stuff. It's not a big deal. Um... There is all this lapis that I would absolutely love to have. Actually, I've got space. Let me... Oh, yeah, that anvil pet's already broken. He's like, I just can't do it. There's too much broken stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to head back. I think we've got everything that we need right this second. Because we really need to, uh, to get back out of this place. Um, we did get a lot of runes. Now that I'm safe, how many common runes did we end up getting... 12. Okay, so we've got plenty to do a bit of crafting. Also, I know that we've got uh, a few quests worth of stuff to turn in. Because I know there was one for spawner shards. Um, there was also one for something else and something else. I don't remember. <laughs> oh! Sorry, Wolf. I didn't mean to... I thought you were bad for a second. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put up this Pac-Man. I'm going to switch it with some diamond spikes. There we go. And now I've got to find my airship. Or no, that's right. They actually shot it out of the sky and so I've got the items on me. Okay. And there we go. So we are off. We are off. And we have a lot of lapis with those blocks. So that's exciting. <laughs> we got a bunch of pets. A bunch of seeds, a bunch of runes. That seems like probably, assuming that you can get all the seeds from that, that seems like the best place to get your seeds. Dun, dun, dun. I love this. I love the way it's it's going so far. All right, um, it's still a lot of work to do, but anyways, let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna park it right here. And I think, let's see. I'll tell you what, one thing I am going to do real quick, since we got all that lapis, I'm going to upgrade my weapons. <laughs> so, because of course we had this one. Oh, this one's already... Oh yeah, this one's max looting. Where... I'm getting eggs from like, way down <laughs> somewhere. Alright, I'm just going to throw all this stuff into here. All these pets and... And all that. I never found my pickaxe, so I guess we don't have a lapis pickaxe anymore. I mean, they're not that expensive. 
but it's still kind of a bummer because that thing was leveled up a lot really really was okay so first up let's go ahead and turn in this fighting back they want us to get eight spawner shards so we'll go ahead and do that we get some soul vials um that's good i'm not too worried about continuing that right this second um, it's not really a priority but i did want to go ahead and turn that in while we had those shards on hand um also by the way one thing i wanted to show you guys is i was opening up loot bags and i got an octatic capacitor from a loot bag um and a bulky obsidian shield too so the only thing is you lose speed when you have it on let me see what would it be like oh gosh it's very very slow but the thing is i could throw it on for places like those dungeons throw it on because i'm not so worried about speed but i can sit there and kind of like block out damage right so i might i might hold on to it and uh we'll see anyways for right now i'm just going to dump all these pets and i'm going to go through them later um, i am going to grab out the loot bags and that obsidian shield i'm going to throw it oh yeah i've got all this stuff too okay i'm gonna pull that out oh god just stuff for days here but i figure i'm gonna sort through them because a lot of these pets would be handy to have um if not in my inventory you know maybe um have them in like a bag or something like that like the wither pad and the water breathing pad and stuff like that i would like to have those around but i don't need them right this second so i'm just gonna throw them in there um and then as for i think that's all the loot bags right because i do want to get those opened dump all that into the chest by the way you have to do it on the core i've noticed you have to shift right click on the core all right so now let's go ahead and pull this stuff out i'd like to see what all we got from our loot bags infinity tome life oh yeah i got that spell book i'm not for sure that there's anything in that i but i want to say that it's a crafting reagent yeah it makes speed paper yeah you can't actually use it that's what i was thinking but i wasn't I wanted to make sure okay so we've got this is all from uh Ring of Invisibility. It's interesting. Uh, scrap boxes and stuff. Okay, Ring of Jump Boost. I just can't even carry all this stuff. It's too many things. Ooh, we got Abyssal Knight ingots. Uh, but one thing I did want to do is I want to throw that Octatic Capacitor into the furnace because I want to see if it boosts it. Because I'm quite curious. <laughs> honestly because you know we were talking about the the speed increase that they've given we got a nether star visacron it's a it's a version four though sadly i would have liked to have had a different oh but look it's got a pattern on the balloon like a rainbow pattern huh all right we'll take it bring up jump boost a bag of holding i could keep all my pets in that affinity tome for water we've got Ardite boots. There's so many good things coming out of these loot bags. Like, you know, we spent all that time making that uh, airship. And, like, the next episode, just open up an airship. Purple stone bricks. Another octatic capacitor. Okay. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to throw the octatic i'm gonna throw it into here in fact um because i've got a lot of my machines in there i'm sure you noticed i've got my sag mill and stuff because i haven't actually set them up anywhere i haven't figured out where i want to put them or anything like that nor have i had the actual need for them at the moment but if i throw that octatic into there and we'll throw in some cobblestone wow that smelts crazy fast that's three at a time like this is this is without the octatic which I still feel like it's pretty fast without the Octatic. But I feel like the Alloy Smelter is like buffed in this pack. I could be wrong. I could just be crazy. But it, I feel like it's really buffed. I will say though that we really don't have the power production to sustain that. But it's not like I'm using the Alloy Smelter all the time either. So that's okay. Whoops. No. 
I don't want graphite. Okay, so we got our common runes. You actually have to use those to make octatic capacitors. So, that's nice. Also, your base essence ingots need that. But what we need is structure voids. Oh, you need it for a golden lasso. Onyx dipped dragon egg. Dragon egg nut. <laughs> Enough bats get you a dragon because logic. Okay, wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> to make an uncommon rune, you need common runes for days, skeleton skulls for days, zombie heads, creeper heads, dragon head. And then to make a rare rune, you need ultimate stew, creeper, enderman, zombie, uncommon runes, dragon head, creative modifier. Those are actually craftable, though, with scenarium blocks of copper <laughs> for days. That's crazy. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and make those structure voids, right? Because they're actually not that... Well, we got lots of lapis now. So that's actually not bad at all. What did I do with all that lapis, though? Oh, that's right. That lapis is still over here. Okay. And I tell you what, one thing I do want to add onto our rapier is luck. Okay. So there we go. And then we've got a bunch of stacks of lapis. So those structure voids... We'll get two of those, because we're going to need it for our drawer controller. And then, we're also going to need some tin plates, a drawer, and a redstone gear. Okay, I'm ready to get some way, that's one reason I want to get through this, because right now I've just got a chest filled with a bunch of junk. You know, and it's honestly, it's so hard to find things in this. I'm still working on sorting this, because you can see I've got some andesite, some granite. Uh, stuff like that that's gotten mixed up in with this, but, uh, in stone. Still very much in the process of sorting it all, but... Also, I've noticed that the sort button doesn't exactly work all that well. Anyways, there's our drawer, and then we'll go ahead and get our redstone gear. I'm so ready to get this, like, the drawer controller. Oh, yeah, I need one more. <laughs> Oops. So I'm ready to get the drawer controller and the, uh, I think the next thing they want us to make is the inventory panel, isn't it? I believe so. Which I was looking at, I mean, realistically, I think we could probably get into refined storage fairly easily. But I figure, eh, we'll wait. We'll get into that later. Um, I'm also going to want some trim. Mainly just so I can actually plug this line up, like this little separate line here. So I'm just going to put that right there. This is all temporary, of course. We'll get it moved and changed over and everything. I would like to have this accessible. So what I might do, actually, is put the drawer controller right here. Actually, I just realized we have a quest to turn in first. Uh, the drawer controller, it's already completed. Okay, so we get to pick either 12 basic 2x2 drawers, 32 item conduits, or a diamond chest. Naturally, I'm going to take the item conduits. Drawers are not a problem to make. Diamond chests are not a problem to make. None of that stuff's even remotely expensive. All right, so we'll put our drawer controller down right there. And then give me just a second to break this trim. I've got an axe in my chest. I still feel like pulling it out. I'm being lazy. Okay, but that's working now. And so next up, they want us to get the inventory panel. Okay, so the inventory panel, this isn't really my preferred way to do this. But for the sake of the quest, we'll go ahead and do this. Um, so right here, they want us to... Okay, we're going to need a remote awareness upgrade. A liquid tank. These are actually really cool. We're going to be using those in the near future. Dark steel, structure void, screens. Okay, but I did just notice, I thought we could get into refined storage, because I'd been looking, and it was a lot of, like, quartz and rich iron, and everything was pretty well the same. You know, the processors um, were still done in the solderer and all that. But then I looked at the actual solderer itself. <laughs> it takes enhanced Galgadorian metal from Steve's Carts, which is not, I mean, that stuff's not cheap at all. Um, because you need these large lumps of Galgador, which takes nine lumps of Galgador, which is eyes of Galgador and all that stuff, gas tears for days. And then you also need these irradiant reinforced plates, which require reinforced iridium iron plates, 
which is advanced alloy carbon plates, iridium iron, iron plates around iridium ingots. Oh, basically it's going to be a little while on that. Um, okay, so we're going to craft the inventory panel, I guess. Could be worse. And we'll just set up a, we do have that vat, so it's not really going to be too big of an issue to make nutrient distillation. We'll go ahead and set that up this episode and everything. So the inventory panel, um, we're going to need four pieces of dark steel. I, I am going to have to go get more obsidian in the near future. I'm using obsidian from our nether portal right now, so oh, this is done. I'm trying to keep up on all the plants, all the crops and everything. Um, oh, I'll tell you what I am going to do is this... I've got these two magnet rings. I'm just going to keep the instantaneous one, and we'll toss that magnet. It's actually a nice find, though, because instantaneous magnets are the best, because it's basically just instantly teleports the items into your inventory. So we do need to get some power, some kind of power system set up today as well, if we have time. We'll see where we get to. Okay, so there's our pulverized coal. I believe, oh yeah, we need our iron, which is fine. I've got, I've got a bunch of iron that's cooking up, or that was, you know, was cooking up. All right, we're about to see how fast this thing makes dark steel. So alloys, it's pretty quick, honestly, that's, that's pretty fast. Considering those alloys aren't really the fastest thing in the world, so. All right. So we got that and that. The remote awareness upgrade. We're going to need electrical steel, silicon, conduit binder. I think I've actually got conduit binder in here. All right, because we made a bunch of it before and I haven't actually used it, I think. No, I did make conduit binder. That was in my test world. Um, we're going to need rubber. Okay, I've got 10 pieces on me. That Honestly, that should be fine. Um, conduit binder. It's rubber, sand, clay. Okay. So we'll get a single batch of this for right now. Actually, there is a quest to make rubber. And, I mean, to make conduit binder. Honestly, I, do, I don't know for sure that we'll get into a full power system today. But if we do not, next episode, that will be the plan, is a full power overhaul. Right? Because I do want to get that stuff started pretty quick. Because running running that coal generator was good. It was okay for like last episode when we didn't need a whole lot of power. But now we need. We're starting to get to where we actually need some power. Um, you know, running that uh, alloy smelter with the speed boost and everything. And I would love to run the sag mill with a speed boost and all that. So I'm definitely going to want some of that stuff. Okay, we're going to need blaze rod, ender pearl, adamantium. Oh, I hate searching through this thing. I hate it. Okay, I've got most of this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and sag mill up like a stack of sand. Let's see. Let's see how fast the sag mill runs with an octatic capacitor. Ow! <laughs> this is great. I love this. All right, so we got some silicon and that remote awareness upgrade. There's that. And now we're just waiting on the screen. We gotta get stone burnt. Okay, so we're gonna have to get into extra utilities for that. And then over here, aluminum gears, we're gonna need aluminum and iron. Okay, I believe I actually have some aluminum in here somewhere. Oh, we got nether aluminum. And I've got a little bit of bauxite that I found just recently. Okay, so can I not use nether aluminum for anything? Really? I'm going to throw that in there. We'll get that smelted up. Yeah, nether aluminum ore has like no purpose. Which I find to be kind of strange. Okay, and I'll tell you what. I'm just going to make a gear cast for our smeltery. Because they're really not that expensive. We can make an iron gear. Like that. And then just do that. Okay. And I'm going to need, I'm just going to use gold. I have a lot, I have way more gold than I have aluminum at the moment. 
For some reason, I've just not had a whole lot of luck with bauxite. And I've tried mining at like the ideal bauxite levels and everything like that. Still, not a whole lot of a whole lot of luck. All right, so we need four of these aluminum gears, and then we've got a bucket right here. And then what? It's just glass, I think. So there we go, liquid tank. Now all we're waiting on is the screen, which requires stone burn, ender shards. Okay, let me see. I should have some resonating redstone crystals in here. I guess it's as good a time as any to start extra utilities. I only have one resonating redstone crystal. That's it, really? Okay. Oh, I'm going to have to get some more of those, actually. All right, let me see. We'll see how far we can get on one, on one resonating redstone crystal. All right, we're going to need a block of coal, iron, redstone. So there's our resonator, and then we're going to need the manual meal. And honestly, I could, well, I'd still need one for that actual item. Uh, the manual meal. Where are you? Yeah, that's going to take resonating redstone crystals as well. Okay, now actually, I think we have a quest line. Oh, they want it right here is the extra utilities. We're not quite that far. I haven't done the power stuff. We'll focus on that next episode. But I'm sure I'll be able to turn the quest in retroactively. So, hopefully. Hopefully. So anyways, I guess it is off to find resonating redstone crystals. I'm going to have to get another lapis pick. I should have made one before I came out, but I'll make one later. There's actually a piece of bauxite like right there when I entered. I thought I couldn't find any. I'm just blind, I think. I don't know why this golden backpack is not working. Oh, for some reason with the magnet, it does not... It doesn't work right. That's okay. I still like having the magnet, but... It doesn't auto-collect the items. I have to throw them down, and then it'll pick them up. Now, probably the standard magnet would probably work okay with it, but the automatic one doesn't work. By the way, I think I can... Can I make these? Yeah, ender shards. Okay. I may just make some of them then. I totally... I almost forgot about that, because it's using the... Uh, the little knife thing. I did get two, though, while I was down here. I needed to get redstone anyway, so I don't mind it. But yeah, in the future, we'll just make those. And they're, like, blowing stuff up over here. <laughs> God! It's just like a war zone. Like, there's really no point in this pack to even try landscaping, because, like, if you recall, when I was living down there on the ground, mobs were teleporting into my base somehow, and I don't know exactly how they were getting in, though somewhere even though the, the walls were cleared the uh, closed up i had lit up the tops of those trees and everything from what i could tell was lit up but apparently not all right so let's go ahead and get ourselves some stone bricks polished stone and then we'll get the um the manual meal crafted up and i'm gonna need them fair amount of sticks here. So there's our redstone gears. Let's get our manual meal. I just want one of those. Thank you. And then the thing, I think I'm going to go ahead and go straight for the water meal. I have redstone, nickel gear, stone burnt. Okay, I tell you what, I think I've got some nickel in here somewhere. So I'm just going to set that down right there, our manual meal, and I'm going to get this stone burnt going. Oh, the fun part. I hate making this initial stone burnt. It's terrible. Now, let's see. For the first water meals, we're going to need just four stone burnt. So that's actually not as... That's actually less than it normally is. I think normally it's six, right? But, I mean, you need the nickel gears and all that stuff, too. So, so there's our first four pieces of stone burnt. There's some nickel. And I think... Okay, we're going to need Eye of Redstone. So there's that, and then I think that's everything. 
There we go. Okay. And let's go ahead and get this set up so that it'll be producing the, the stone burnt for us automatically. So do I have... I don't have my pitcher plant planted yet, do I? I'm going to set this down like right here for right now. This is all so temporary. I'm ready to start getting this stuff moved. But I've got to get into where... I have a little bit more of the base built and stuff. Man, I ripped through that fortune pick like bad. Very, very bad. Okay, so I guess we're going to put the water mill down like right here. So we got water flowing in on each side, and the water mill is running at full capacity. So now that's producing stone burnt for us. Um, you know, I can make additional um, water mills, but I'm not going to worry about it right this second. Okay, so now that we've got that, our inventory panel. Back to back to this. Um, stone burnt, ender shards, and that resonating redstone crystal. Oh, I just realized. And then we can just do this with an ender pearl, get our ender shards. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and get a resonating redstone crystal. And there is our screen. Okay. So now we can get our inventory panel. Dun, dun, dun. It took long enough. Okay. And that's the last quest in this first tab. So we get a, a remote awareness upgrade, two nutrient distillation, six item conduits great and this whole section is now done at long last okay so let's go ahead i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna plug this up um i guess for right now i'm gonna put this here okay we're gonna put a remote awareness upgrade into this we'll just say in and out it's fine and we'll go ahead and run this on over to here and I'll just dump some nutrient distillation into this. <clears throat> okay. So now we can access all of our items that were in that. And the nice thing is we can actually search and we can say, you know, I want ender pearls. And there we go. And that's what I want. Okay. And then I think the only thing is that I hate about this is it just steadily drains this. And I hate that. I hate it so much. But what we're going to do is let's set up something here. Uh, nutrient distillation, it's, uh, I believe you can use rotten flesh, right? Rotten flesh can be used or just a head. And I can use nether wart for it. Um, which is probably what I'm going to do, I think. Maybe use nether wart and rotten flesh. Um, we will, over the next couple episodes, we'll get that automated. Like the production of that. Okay, give me just a minute. I'm going to see the time on the video and see what we can get into before the end of the episode. Because I need, you know, I need power, I need nutrient distillation production, I need all these different things. Um, and we will end up plugging up the drawer system to this as well. Okay, I was just looking at the time on the video. It is fairly close to wrapping up point, but one thing I do want to do before we end out the episode is I want to go ahead and at least semi-automate um, the production and filling of the inventory panel with uh, nutrient distillation. Next episode, whenever we overhaul power, our lives will get a whole lot easier, right? But right now, you know, we don't have time to jump into that today. So what we're going to do is let me get our vat wherever I put it. Oh, right here. Okay. Let me grab that, and we're going to set it. Let's see. Our inventory panel is going to go right here. The vat is going to go right beneath it, I guess. That'll work. Um, oh, I got this stuff in there. Okay. So we're going to say that you can push up. We should push into the inventory panel. Okay. And then we need to set this up to produce water. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves just a sink from Pam's Harvest Craft. This is very, very easy to do. Um, okay. We've actually got the wood on hand. There's the iron. Let me grab the bucket of water. 
there we go there's our sink and we're just going to set this up right here and we'll say that you can pull from that so you can see that the input tank is now building up water and then I'm going to want another this of course is just temporary but they're cheap enough that it's not a problem to make them uh, we're going to get a coal generator okay so let me get just a few more of these lead plates I want to get into immersive engineering and get plates automated fairly soon as well um, there's our machine frame and then we just needed what was it was it coal and then redstone torches yes these things are so cheap I love it it's I mean they're fairly decent power they produce what 60 RF per tick which is actually pretty high for coal based generation now I mean it's not that great of power generation but for coal based it's not bad at all um, so I should I think I have some hoppers lying around here somewhere don't I I'll tell you what I'm just gonna steal this hopper I think for right now I'll, I'll make another one here in just a minute and put it on there but for right now I'm just gonna put that hopper there we'll fill this full of coal and there we go so that's producing power it's giving power to the vat and then what I can do is just get a bit of our nether warts I tell you what I wonder I was gonna say I could have like a buffer tank for this stuff but eh. I guess it's not really a big deal so anyways that's gonna start running it's gonna create nutrient distillation for us and it should keep this thing topped off pretty easily I mean it's, it's honestly it's not gonna consume a whole lot of power create that it looks like that can only store 2,000 millibuckets anyway so we're about to get our first bit of nutrient distillation should make like 3,000 or no it makes 600 millibuckets okay that's not bad though um, I mean it's semi-automated I'll have to throw in rotten flesh and nether ward I mean I could put a hopper on this which I might do that um, just to keep it feeding you know throw a few extra stacks of rotten flesh and nether wart um, it's kind of like a buffer but honestly this thing it's gonna take it forever to run through this because I mean it consumes like about one millibucket of nutrient distillation like every I don't know maybe 30 seconds or something it's very very slow so I think that'll be okay I think that'll be all right till next episode in the next episode we'll get power we'll we'll get into all that stuff so I'm not for sure what kind of power I want to go with first there's a few different options. And if we have time, I'd like to do a little bit with magic next episode as well. So there may be a speed build video between now and then. Maybe. Um, I will say those videos take a very long time to do, if you didn't, if you hadn't guessed. Those actually take quite a while. <laughs> because, you know, I try to go through and I do, like, you know, different songs and stuff, so it's not so redundant. Um, I hate the idea of using the same song for 40 minutes or something. Um, it would it would kill me to watch it so <laughs> um, but yeah so there might be another one because I do I am planning on doing some building um, between now and then so there may be a video out in the next couple days or something for speed builds so uh, but anyways with that I know it is wrapping up point so I'm going to end it out here um, I will say that I'll probably do some more of those dungeons I'll do them off camera I just kind of wanted to take my time and show you guys that one since it was our first dungeon and that's kind of a big deal now I know there's higher difficulty ones so we might cover those um, on camera a little bit and it might be a little bit briefer than today because I know today was like 20 something minutes of dungeoning so um, something like that <laughs> so um, it'll probably be a little bit quicker in the future I think um, unless it's like really really crazy dungeon time or something like that so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did as always be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos and um, until next time as always do take care stay safe and I hope to see you guys then